You shouldn't believe me a single word. You shouldn't believe me a single word. You shouldn't believe me a single word. There's no way out. KS uh, caused by uh, by by nitrites. Oh. AIDS started partly when they said that it's possible to uh, to measure the, the the strength of the immune system, um, analyzing or counting T4 cells, the so to set uh, helper cells. But that's not that's not possible. The idea of retroviruses in cancer is long over. Oh. We know what is reverse transcription. That's the repair of uh, mechanism of the ends of the chromosomes. You don't find a single uh, biopsy confirmed PCP in hemophiliacs. Oh. Because it's septrim, it's pure chemotherapy, it acts on a genetic level. This is why those kind of antibiotic are, are so effective, because they are destroying the genetic material of the bacteria, the damages are accumulating, and there is no repair. But the damages are accumulating inside our cells as well. KML is a PCR technique, which is a multiplication technique, not a quantification technique, by the way. Oh. Drug abusers, who some of them live under persistent stress, or they get dirty street drugs and which immediately would uh, damage the liver or destroy the liver, so they have hepatitis as well, the drug abusers. Huh? We, <laughs> we don't need viruses to explain hepatitis inflammation. <laughs> It was very easy for the ones who set up antibody tests to uh, produce similar proteins like uh, uh, the body would produce under persistent stress. It has been known already in the mid-70s by Anthony Fauci, by the way. They knew when stress hormones are released, the immune functions are immediately uh, suppressed because when we are under stress and we have to run away, 
because the line is behind us, uh, we need no uh, immune functions and waste energy for, for the replication of immune cells. But the dangerous thing is when we have persistent stress, heavy stress, not like outside the streets, uh, but heavy stress, right? be it nutritional, be it toxic, be it traumatic, uh, psychological or infectious stress. If this stress is persistent, your body produces a lot of stress hormones, adrenaline, noradrenaline, <clears throat> and they would activate, they stimulate growth. But this is very dangerous, at, you know, when this persists. So the body wisely makes a reaction against this activation processes, and that's cortisol. And uh, cortisol suppresses every replication of, of uh, uh, proteins, and therefore, as well, the replication of cells. So if you are in a state of persistent stress, you are at the same time in a state of persistent uh, hypercortisolism huge amount of, of cortisolism and then you become thinner and thinner and your regeneration won't work and you become more and more positive means more and more antibodies You shouldn't believe me a single word.